What advice would you give to an aspiring producer? Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Anything beyond that? Um, well, that's pretty good advice, don't you think? A little general. Well. All right, if you're going to force me to be more specific than that, which I think is very rude of you, but I'll, but I'll try. I, I think a really good producer has to find a way to impose his or her sensibility on, on, on the enterprise at hand without doing it at the expense of other people's sensibilities. And that's also a kind of a general statement. But if I have to choose between your sensibilities and mine, I'm going to choose mine. What I'd like to do is include you in the process and make you feel legitimately contributive to it. But I'm the guy. I'm the boss. And it's my job to get as close to my vision of this thing, whatever it is, as I can. Um, and a lot of that has to do with, you know, people management and, and empowering people to get the best out of them. But at the end of the day, it says, you know, produced by or executive producer Stephen Bochco at the end. And, and, and if it falls short of the mark, it's my fault. So, uh, you know, the advice I have to give producers finally is just take responsibility for what's up there, good or bad. Preferably bad, you know. Always share the responsibility when it's good and, and take all the responsibility when it's bad.